Welcome to the Daily Horror Habit Podcast. I'm your host, Jay Krieger, bringing you daily reviews of currently streaming horror movies for your twisted pleasure. Be aware that these reviews may include mild spoilers. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Watching a horror movie a day for Shocktober isn't exactly a huge deviation from my already daily viewing of horror. While making time for horror is certainly not an issue of mine, I like to approach Shocktober with a goal. And while I don't follow a nightly theme or subgenre, I do use the month to cross 31 first-time watches off my ever-expanding watch list. You'd think a a movie-a-day mentality would result in my blowing through a back catalog spanning nearly 300 movies, but alas, it's a never-ending predicament, or hell, depending on how you look at it. But have no fear, here are five of my favorite recently watched first-time Shocktober films that are currently streaming. Number 1. 2005's Hard Candy Streaming on Peacock TV Jeff and Haley meet at a local coffee shop after flirting online over Instant Messenger. They hit it off, having many of the same interests, and there's a connection there. The only problem is, is that Haley's a teenager, and Jeff is in his 30s. As they leave to head to Jeff's house, you think you know where Hard Candy is heading, but you'd be very, very wrong. Director David Slade's Hard Candy is a cautionary tale of revenge that sees potential prey striking back at a predator. Ellen Page gives an all-time performance as the cunning and determined Haley playing against the manipulative and disgusting Jeff, played by Patrick Wilson. Slade refuses to allow the audience to relax for even a second, making for an incredibly uncomfortable film to watch from start to finish. Through smart dialogue thanks to writer Brian Nelson and top-tier performances, Hard Candy is a disturbing thrill ride that is unrelenting in its tension and disturbing subject matter. Given the premise of the film, I feel I should make note that while it is a revenge film and deals with a pedophile as an antagonist, there are no scenes of sexual assault or sexual violence. My hesitation to watch Hard Candy for all these years stemmed from fear that there'd be scenes depicting the likes of which you can assume would go along with the subject matter. But the creative team behind the film does such a stellar job of making a skin-crawling film without the need for such graphic depictions of assault. If you like your Shocktober flicks fraught and tension riddled, Hard Candy is for you, and it is currently streaming on Peacock TV. Number 2. 2006's Bug, streaming on Tubi TV. There are a few subgenres of film quite like grounded body horror that are still as terrifying to me as if it were the first time dabbling with the subgenre. The idea that your mind could turn against you and allow a person to wreak havoc on their own flesh remains endlessly disturbing and grisly in the right director's hands. Enter William Friedkin's body horror thriller Bug, which is currently streaming on Tubi TV. Starring Ashley Judd as Agnes, an unstable bartender who's wandering aimlessly through life until she meets Peter, played by Michael Shannon. Peter gives her a sense of security she longs for, providing companionship and stability, and also an unwavering fear of bugs. Peter believes that the government has implanted flesh-eating bugs into his body, and it doesn't take long before paranoia begins spreading like bedbugs within the confines of Agnes's apartment. A fantastic and unhinged performance from Michael Shannon drives Friedkin's lo-fi body horror nightmare. And once the digging and ripping for the bugs in their bodies begins, the blood flows and the teeth are extracted. A nervous nightmare of fucked up people in a Hall of Fame caliber fucked up situation that only snowballs the insanity up until its explosive conclusion. Friedkin and Shannon stands rejoice as Bug is the body horror thriller for you this Shocktober season, and it is currently streaming on Tubi TV. Number 3, 1986's From Beyond, which is currently streaming on Shudder. If there were one good to come from the racist ramblings of H.P. Lovecraft, it was his penchant for cosmic horror stories. The idea of another plane of existence within our world that houses horrors beyond our mind's greatest fears. Rather than flee from the fear, the power of fear is portrayed as erotically irresistible which often leads to man's demise. And horror alum Gordon Stewart's 1986 loose adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's short story makes for a remarkably bloody body horror nightmare. Starring a winning trio of Jeffrey Combs, Barbara Crampton, and Ken Foree, From Beyond is a twisted mad scientist's tale. Combs plays lab assistant Crawford Tillinghast, who assisted in strange, otherworldly experiments using a device called the Resonator. The Resonator bridges a gap between our world and the beyond, an otherworldly filled with horrifying monsters with the ability to change people. This results in the trio attempting to survive an onslaught of hellish and ever-evolving creatures 
threatening to make their stay within our realm a permanent one. By all accounts, the premise is not too dissimilar from that of Reanimator, another H.P. Lovecraft-inspired film by Stuart Gordon, about a man dabbling in otherworldly practices. The main difference here, though, is the fantastic application of gooey body horror monsters that we all love. Creatures evolve from parasitic organisms into mutated molds of meat that constantly drip bodily fluids with every step they take. There are a few instances of rather poor CGI, but a majority of the film's practical work makes for grotesque and gruesome monster mashups of cosmic horror. I'm on the fence as to whether or not I prefer this to Reanimator, but if you need a strong cosmic horror fix, From Beyond has you covered, so make sure to catch it while it's streaming on Shudder. Number 4. 2007's 30 Days a Night, streaming on Amazon Prime and Tubi TV. Another absolute banger from director David Slade which pits a pack of vampires against an Alaskan town engulfed in 30 days of darkness. I'm not the biggest fan of vampire films, but Slade's ability to capture the snowfall isolation of the thing and a visceral take on vamps makes for a bloody memorable film. Pairing absolutely gorgeous shots of the Alaskan wilderness with capturing the oppressive winter atmosphere that tickles my New England heart. Slade captures the visceral bloodlust of vampires in a manner that makes them more feral than suave seductors freeing them from a rather tiresome and antiquated portrayal of vampires. 30 Days a Night absolutely delivers on gorgeous cinematography in unrelenting bloodshed and brutality, so be sure to check it out while it's streaming on Prime Video and Tubi TV. Number 5, 2002's May, currently streaming on Tubi TV. May from director Lucky McKee is a modern-day female rendition of Frankenstein that abandons the mad scientist for a social outcast who succumbs to decades of bullying. Angela Bettis stars as May, whose obsession with body parts takes a deadly turn when her obsession with a local mechanic takes an even deadlier turn. McKee crafts what is possibly the most uncomfortable social interactions ever filmed on screen. May attempts to maneuver the social spectrum of life forcing rather than forming relationships, making for maddeningly uncomfortable interactions. This tension breaks when May accepts that her desire for parts is stronger than her desire to fit in, and that's when the bodies begin to drop. May is a truly bizarre film that will make you squirm and cringe long before an ounce of blood is spilled, but then it capitalizes on your unease with a truly unforgettable and equally disturbing ending. If you're trying to get truly weird this spooky season, May fits the bill nicely and it is currently streaming on Tubi TV. And that's going to do it for my 5 favorite Shocktober first time watches so far this year. While the month isn't yet up, I naturally overbooked myself on reviews and am crunching this entire week. But that just means there are more reviews of new horror movies right around the corner. And that'll do it for another episode of Daily Horror Habit. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Daily Horror Movie Review. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to Daily Horror Habit on your preferred streaming service and follow at Daily Horror Habit on Instagram and at Daily Horror Pod on Twitter.